Hello everyone, welcome back to another 5 minute iOS programming tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create a draggable or pannable view. Okay, so I have already created a new project, so I'm going to go ahead and go to main.storyboard. And what we need to do here is we need to create our view that we're going to be dragging. But first we want to change the background color to an off-white color. A great one is F2, F2, F2 in hex color or 242, 242, 242 in RGBA. Next, go to the lower right hand corner and search up view. And then go to the very bottom of the results and drag in view. I'm going to make this have a square shape, so I will copy and paste that in there and we will center it in the middle of our view controller. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to hor center horizontally and vertically and now we obviously need to add width and height and add those constraints. So there we go. We have added our constraints onto our view. So next we need to add a pan gesture recognizer. And it recognizes pan or dragging gestures, which is what we need. So go ahead and drag it right onto your view. Make sure you drag it onto your view and not your view controller or something like that. So now that we have our pan gesture recognizer, let's go ahead and open the editor so we can add some outlets and some actions. First, we're going to create an outlet for our view and we'll call it drag view. And now, and we're also going to create an outlet for our gesture recognizer and we'll call this for the sake of clarity and also because it's the only gesture recognizer that we're using. I'm going to go ahead and delete these comments because they are not really necessary right now. And right under the did receive memory warning, I will create a new outlet by clicking on our view, control, right click, and now drag this blue uh, line to our editor. So you see this, make sure that the connection is uh, Actually, no, sorry. Um, so click on your gesture, right, gesture recognizer, right click, control, and drag. You want to control, click, and drag from the gesture recognizer to your editor. Make sure that connection is type of action. You can name it anything you want, but I'll name it view was dragged. Because that is exactly what is going on here. Actually, one little thing. We want sender to be UI pan gesture recognizer. Press enter to autocomplete. So now we will be putting in the actual meat of our code. So what we're going to type in first is we're going to say let translation is sender dot translation in and then the name of our view which is drag view. So basically um, if you do a little bit of C sharp and game development with Unity this is I guess you could sort of call this a vector 2. I don't know if exactly if I'm correct and that is basically a transform sort of like a position with an X and a Y. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's completely correct, but that's how I understand it. So let's go and skip a line. We're going to type in sender dot view dot center. So the center of our view is a CG point. The X of our center is going to be the sender dot view dot center dot x so it's center x point and now we also have to add a y sender dot view dot center 
dot y and that is actually all for that one so skip one more line and the last thing we have to write is sender which happens to be our view dot set translation so the position will be cg point dot zero in UI view which is going to be self dot view so that is actually all we have to type to make our view draggable I'm going to go a little bit further and I'm going to add a custom shadow to my view I'm not gonna go into depth on how to do this but if you want to know how I have a great tutorial that I have linked in the description for you to watch Okay, I have now added a shadow to our view the way I want to and I just realized right now that before we're done we need to add one more thing because you see when we change the center of our view we just we don't ch actually change it so we need to add at the end of each one is plus and our variable that we created called translation dot x. I believe and then for the Y it's gonna be plus translation dot Y I believe that is correct so now that we have so now that we have completed everything we can go ahead and choose your device that you wanna use I'm gonna use iPhone 6s and we're gonna go ahead and run so now our app has built and here it is as you can see here is our view right here we have my shadow on there and all the colors seem good the constraints seem good so let's just go ahead and try clicking it and dragging it and as you can see it follows your mouse when you click and when you drag it follows your mouse and it goes where you want so that's all for this video Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out more of our videos and tutorials, and I will see you in the next video.